the Israelite army had been conquering different kingdoms without defeat. They settled in the land of Moab. The king of Moab was Balak. Balak did not want to get attacked by the Israelite army, so Balak tried getting a prophet to curse the Israelites out of the land they were in. Balak sent some of his messengers to get the prophet Balaam to curse the Israelites out of the land. When the messengers arrived at the place Balaam was, they asked, Will you curse the Israelites out of the land they are in, so we won't get attacked? No. So the messengers went back to Balak to tell him the bad news. After Balak heard the bad news, he became desperate and told them to go back and offer Balaam loads of riches. So the messengers went back to ask Balaam again. Will you curse the Israelites out of the land they are in? We will give you loads of riches if you do. Hmm, I will go to the Israelites and say whatever God wants me to say. So the next day, Balaam saddled his donkey, and Balaam knew he should not go. God sent an angel to block the road. Balaam could not see the angel, but his donkey could. So the donkey tried going around the angel into the field. Balaam beat his donkey for going off the road. The donkey again tried getting around the angel and went up against the wall. Balaam's leg got scraped. Balaam was furious with his donkey, and he gave it a good beating. The angel stepped back into a very narrow place in the road so that you could not get around it. When the donkey came up to the angel, he just stopped. Balaam was furious now. He beat the donkey as hard as he could. Then God opened the mouth of the donkey so that it could speak. What have I done to you to make you beat me three times? If I had a sword right now, I would kill you. Haven't I always been a good donkey? Well, yes. Then God opened the eyes of Balaam so that he could see the angel. Balaam knew he should have not gone with the men. Balaam bowed down to the angel and he said, Please forgive me for going with these men. I'll go back to my home if you wish me to. God wants you to go, but only say what he tells you to say. When the king Balak saw Balaam coming, he was so excited, he came out to meet Balaam. Will you curse the Israelites for me, so that I will not get attacked? I will say what God wants me to say. When Balak and Balaam arrived where the Israelites were staying, Balaam built seven altars, and then went out where no one was staying. God spoke to Balaam and told him what to say. When Balaam returned, Balak and all of his nobles were waiting to hear Balaam curse the Israelites. Balaam said what God told him to say. How shall I curse whom God hath not cursed? And how shall I defy whom Jehovah hath not defied? Who can count the dust of Jacob or number the fourth part of Israel? Balak was so disappointed. Why did you bless the Israelites and not curse them? I said, I will only say what God wants me to say. So Balak brought Balaam to a different place where there was not as many Israelites. Balaam built seven altars, and instead of cursing the Israelites, he blessed them again. Balak brought Balaam to one more place to see if Balaam would curse the Israelites, but Balaam blessed them again. Balak never gave Balaam the riches. If you want to know something cool, this is a true story. These events happened over 3,000 years ago. If you want to read more about Balaam's story, you can find it in the Book of Numbers in the Bible. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to share the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out my channel using the link on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Later!